When I look at a beautiful environment, it makes me feel at peace. It quiets my soul. I feel like I'm one with nature. So it's that feeling that I'm trying to capture and place it within my painting. I began finger painting in college. I picked up some pastel sticks. I initially drew with them and then noticed that there was so much dust being created on my paper that if I moved it around with my fingers, I could get a really smooth, creamy look. And ever since then, that's how I create with pastels. The subject matter of my paintings is predominantly barnscapes. And this comes from my history of growing up on the edge of a farming community in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And that's where my fondness for the countryside comes from. I'm drawn to barns because each barn seems to have a story of its own to tell. And I want to try and capture that in my paintings. So I'm best known for my barnscapes, though I also do cloudscapes and waterscapes as well. When I know I'm going to paint, I go through imagery that I've captured. And from those photos, I will take a little from this photo, a little from that photo, and create a painting from those images. One of the important elements of my paintings is the nicely hand-torn edges. And that's because I float the paintings on top of the map board so you get to see all those details in the tearing of the paper. When I go to choose my pastel palette, there's only five to seven colors that are ever present in any given painting. I like it to be simple and the black paper really makes the color pop. I'm also a professional framer. I not only build my own frames, but I also cut the glass, the mat board, and I assemble everything into a nice, neat little package. So my studio space is about 400 square feet. It's in the Rocky Mountains, and I am able to paint in my studio, I'm able to frame in my studio, and I am able to meet collectors in my studio. Colorado inspires my artwork on a daily basis. And to this day, nature plays a big part in what I create as an artist. The great outdoors can't be beat. 